to have a quick through run through and then you're gonna realize that um, uh, we shall start by looking at the introduction part of fit so refraction is a bending of a wave as actually as it moves from one medium to another and we are talking about op uh, media that have got different optical densities so refraction is a bending of a wave as it moves from one particular medium to another and in that case you can see this light wave is moving from air into water so we are between the ray incident ray and the normal we have the angle of incidence and between the normal and the refracted ray we have the angle of refraction so when this ray is moving from air into water what happened is that um, this ray of light will move at a lower speed in water so once it has the speed the speed has decreased is going to bend towards the normal and um, then we shall have a smaller refractive uh, angle of refraction so what happens when a ray is moving from a less dense medium to a more dense medium is that uh, speed decreases and bends towards the normal so the first thing that you need to appreciate is that uh, refraction is a change of direction of a wave or a bending of a wave when it's moving from one medium to another we have red light which is um, approaching a glass block and in this case we have the angle at which this array is oriented to the glass block between the glass block and the ray is actually 20 degrees so meaning we know that the normal forms 90 degrees with the surface so we have to work out this uh, angle at the top here so this angle is going to be 90 minus 20 it is going to be 70 degrees so if you are to work out the refractive angle of refraction at this point we know that uh, maybe you can be given the refractive index the refractive index of blast is 1.5 and then you are expected to work out the angle of refraction here so you are going to use the formula sine i over sine r is going to be equal to 1.5 our sine i i is 70 degrees and our sine r is the one that we are trying to look for equals to 1.5 so if you rearrange this you are going to have sine r let me just write this sine r is going to be equal to sine 70 divided by 1.5 so meaning that if you divide this and you find the the, the sine inverse of um, the answer you'll obtain you are going to get your answer as let me try to work it out that i can be able to see So if you divide like 70 divided by uh, this value of uh, 1.5, you are going to get 0 0.5159. So if you work out the sine inverse, sine inverse of 0 0.59, 5159, 5159, you are going to get your answer as uh, And my calculator was in radian, so I have to change that first. That is sine 70 divided by 1.5.
So if you work out sine 7 divided by 1.5, we are going to get our answer being equal to 0 0.6264. 6264. Then to find r, we are going to find sine inverse of 0 0.6264. So if you work out that sine inverse of this person, we are going to get that 8.8 degrees. So meaning the angle of refraction is going to be that 8.8 degrees because this ray is moving from a less dense medium to a more dense medium the angle of refraction is going to be less than the angle of incidence because the moment this ray was getting into the glass block at this side a b at the boundary the ray slowed down so it had to bend towards the norm so the next question that you may be asked some other time is that um you may be asked to state how is the ray behaving how is the ray behaving when is leaving the glass block? what happened to the ray the ray of light as it's trying to leave the, the glass block on this surface cd this ray as it's moving from glass to air what happens is that it's going to speed up because down here we have air so air is optically less dense so this ray is going to speed up and bend away from the normal so you see now it will the speed will increase and then it will bend away from the normal so if you ask such a question uh, be very sure to answer that we can talk about uh, waves moving from a uh, denser medium to or from deep region to shallow region and um, what you need to appreciate or remember is that um, when a wave is moving in a deeper region is moving faster is moving faster and uh, at this particular point what happens as it's moving through this in that direction the moment it be, it comes to the shallow region the speed is going to decrease so the ray the, the, the wave is going to bend towards the normal so the angle we shall have here is smaller so this wave is going to wave because it's going to slow down in shallow region our waves moves slowly so this ray is going to bend towards the normal and then you are going to have uh, the wave front bending in that way following this line that have uh, drawn at this particular point something that you need to remember when a ray is move, a wave is moving from uh, a deeper region to a shallow region what happens that the wavelength the wavelength is going to decrease the wavelength here is going to be uh, smaller compared to this one and also it's going to travel at a slower speed that's why the wave bends towards the normal and then we have refraction at that particular point Now, allow me just to uh, bring about the concept of total internal reflection. Total internal reflection is actually a phenomenon of light when um, uh, light or is reflected back to the medium where it was coming from. So for the first thing that you need to understand is that the condition for total internal reflection, number one, the ray must be traveling from a dense medium to a less dense medium. If a ray is traveling otherwise in the from a less dense to a dense medium total reflection cannot be able total reflection cannot be able to take place so condition number one the ray must travel from, from a dense medium to a less dense medium condition number two the angle of incidence in the dense medium must be greater than uh, must be greater than the critical angle so the first thing we need to mention here is that um, uh, we need to understand basically the definition of a critical angle a critical angle is the angle of incidence when the angle of refraction is 90 degrees so if you have an angle of incidence when the angle of refraction is 90 that angle of incidence is given a special name which is the critical angle and most of the time same circular glass blocks are usually used to study about total internal reflection uh, because when a ray is entering the glass block 
through this curved part is going to be undeviated. It's going to enter straight. Yeah, because the ray at, at this particular point is along the normal. So when you direct a ray along the normal, there is no refraction that is going to take place because angle of incidence is zero. So the angle of refraction at that particular point is going to be zero. So we have this diagram at this particular point. Now suppose you are told that the critical angle of this type of glass is 42 degrees. When a ray goes straight through this um, um, straight part of the semicircular glass, uh, rather the, the, the prism, at this particular point, this ray is not going to undergo any refraction because the ray is directed to the surface at a right angle. So no refraction will take place along this one. And the moment it strikes this end at an angle of 60 with the surface, then it means this angle that we're going to have at this particular point is 30 degrees. So if we have this angle here, let me just write it properly, properly here. If this angle with the surface is 60, then a normal forms 90 degrees with the surface. Then the remaining angle at this point is 30. So which means this angle is the one that we have here, which is the angle of incidence. Our angle of incidence is 30 degrees, so meaning it's less than the critical angle. So if this angle of incidence is less than the critical angle, it will mean that uh, there will be no total internal reflection because uh, this ray is, this angle is less than the critical angle for total internal reflection to take place. The angle of incidence in the dense medium must be greater than the critical angle. So in part A, no total internal reflection because this angle is less. So meaning what's going to happen? Refraction will take place and at the same time reflection is going to take place. For part B, we have a ray directed in such a way that at this particular point is tracking the surface. The angle, the, the angle between the incidence and the surface is 40. So the angle remaining here is 50 degrees so meaning this 50 is the angle of incidence so if you look at this 50 is greater than 42 so there is no refraction that will take place all the rays will undergo what we call total internal reflection so at this particular point also uh, down here we shall have 50 degrees this concept of total internal reflection is the one that is used in the optic, uh, optical fiber so if uh, a ray strikes this surface at an angle which is greater than the critical angle then this ray will be totally internally reflected and then it will continue like that until it emerges uh, to the other end this optical fiber is used in hospitals as an endoscope to feel the internal structure of the body at the same time it's used for communication because it can be able to uh, transmit data in that way and it also can allow many rays or many a lot of information to be directed through it. So basically that's what we need. And something else that you ought to remember is the relationship that connects between refractive index and the critical angle, whereby we can say that um, the relationship between refractive index and the critical angle is that sign of the critical angle is equal to one of the or one over the refractive index and where the way you use this sometimes if you are told that um, given the critical angle of uh, a piece of glass is 42 degrees find the refractive index another formula is n equals to one over sine c and the way i usually advise my students is that uh, when you are finding the critical angle use this formula but if you are finding the refractive index, it's easier to use n equals to 1 over c because what you are going to do at that particular point is 1 over sine of 42. So if you are told that this uh, piece of glass is having uh, a critical angle of 42 and you are finding the refractive index, you will say that is going to be n equals to 1 over 1 over sine 42. So if you work it out, let me just try to work it out. 1 over sine 42. 
this gives me 1.59 1. rather 1.49 1.49 which is approximately 1.5 which is approximately 1.5 1.5 which is actually uh, glass so